Tony and his experiment number can't remember. <laughs> All right, check it out. Oh, what's that? Um, actually, apparently you have like two jars there. Um, one is smaller than that one, obviously. Um, what you can see right there is kind of like fermentation process going on. Um, look at that, look at that, check this out. Oh my goodness. See that the bubble is going up? A lot of alcohol, yes. Um, actually, I just, um, I just put only one suction of yeast, like 21 gram of each to the jar. Um, I guess like a lot of vibration going on from the, uh, the fan to the tabletop right there. So it's kind of like speed up the, the heating process. So what I'm doing now is showing you the um, fermentation process of the glutinous rice that mixed with the um, malt in cores. Um, also, I add some koji, uh, some kind of bacteria that give out the sweetness. Um, they call it starter bacteria or something uh, in Japanese. I don't know, I'm not sure. Well, the thing is, the result come out that I want is I want to ferment this thing, and after like 90 days, I expect to get a kind of like sake from this experiment. What I did, did what I didn't know is that I can get a better one um, by eliminate the color like yellowish um, by boiling the cores of the malt to get only the liquid water and mix it up with the rice, glutinous rice or even like short grain rice um, and then you get a better clear liquid not like this one well I'd rather say it's like some kind of mistake but I want to try the mistake see how the things go on you know alright so what it is like I just get it fermented for about like 10 hours you see a lot of bubbles going on you know it means like the yeast working properly it means that the yeast has nutrition like sugar from the starch from the koji releasing sugar and I didn't put any like uh, extra sugar in there at all I didn't but it seems like this one working better than in the other one look Yep, still got something going on, still some uh, acti activities. And what I did is I, I get three layers of coffee filters. And then just close it the lid and get the air out from the coffee filter. This one I got two layers and then fold three times. And then make it still tight so the air can leak out through a coffee paper filter. So I got this one like one gallon from a uh, whole food I guess this one apparently like smaller not sure how much it is containing um, maybe like two-thirds or something of gallon um, well this is it my experiment um, let's check it out after 90 days and I let you know I hopefully that I can get the nice better drink healthy drink from this fermentation um, personally, I can't drink like the standard marketable alcohol in the market. It's too much alcohol for me. I like sweet, little sweet with a lot of mild taste, less alcohol. That's I can't tolerate. I couldn't come out with anything from the market, so I just make my own stuff. Well, I'm gonna keep updating uh, probably like in the next three months. So check it out, guys. All right, enjoy. For now, I'm going to turn off the lights to keep the koji and the bacteria yeast and get going, you know, working in process. Because uh, they don't like to be in the light, lighting environment. They want to be in a dark, cool place. It depends though how you keep it in there. Right now, the room temperature is not that high. Uh, pretty, much, pretty much like um, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so people like prefer to keep in the refrigerator maybe uh, some people keep in a higher temperature but for now I'm gonna get it sit there because uh, the culture is working best in the hot climate alright that's it for now bye bye